In today's tutorials, we are going to look at how to send bulk SMS, how to send bulk customized SMS to people. Yeah, so when you, you open your browser and then you type SMS online GH, SMS online GH, SMS online GH. So it opens. We have our SMS online gh.com. SMS online gh.com. So it opens. This is the interface. We are going to look at how to set up your bulk SMS portal and building your dashboard. And building your dashboard. Then we also look at creating a standard type account for your customized bulk sms system then we also look at how to create a request for your unique sender id we also look at how to top up your sms account to, to send a message to a larger audience or a larger people you click on get started we are clicking on get started so we are going to create an account you need to register if you don't have an account you need to register but if you have an account you just click on login if you have an account you click on login but if you don't have an account you click on sign up so we are going to sign up so here i have the account already but because of these tutorials we are going to i'm going to show you how to register so um i use teacher onga or prof onga prof onga but for you you need to use your or your right name okay so here you enter your number you know i told you i already have the number i already have the account so let me use this number so enter your email So you enter your company name here then you enter a stronger password you enter a stronger password you enter a stronger password so after you are done account type you put it on standard standard then you agree to the terms and conditions you agree to the terms and conditions so after you are done remember to put a correct gmail account so you click on create an account remember to put a correct gmail account okay so they have sent me a message account created hello prof onga thank you for for creating an account with us okay so you click on continue they will send you a code on your email and then your number so you have to verify you have to verify so let's check on my email let me check on my email to get my code to get my code so this is my code so i copy my code and then i go to the site and then i paste then i click on verify email address verified okay so let me verify my uh, my phone too so i go to my sms to verify my phone number so i have the number here 
Nein, it. E E nine D. E E E nine D. I'm sure I'm correct. A E nine D. Okay, so I verified that one too. Your phone number successful verified. So after you are done, they will send you a code to your email and then your phone for you to verify. Then I'll go to my account. Go to account. So now we are going to log in into our dashboard. We are going to log in into our dashboard. We are going to log in into our dashboard. So we have successful login into our dashboard. Okay, so our dashboard is open. I'm now going to teach you how to create your unique sender ID. Your unique sender ID. So you click on these three dots. So when you click there, then you click on message or messaging. You click on messaging. Then you click on this is our messaging. Then you click on SMS. You click on SMS. You click on sender name. You click on sender name or sender ID. Your your phone it might be sender ID or sender name. So let me repeat the process again. So you click on the three dots. Then you click on messaging. Then you click on um, SMS. When you click on SMS, you see sender name or sender ID. Then you click on the sender name or sender ID. So now you are going to request for the sender ID. You click on request for sender ID. So this is my account name, my email address. So sender id so here you need to enter a unique name yes a unique name mostly mtn can send you a um a message then you see the name on it mtn or mobile money i get me so you are going to enter characters which is less than 11 or 11 exactly so a Vodafone can send you a message and it's the, the 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 sender name will just be maybe Vodafone cash I get me so here you need to enter a name I get me so let me see MLA MLA means money retreat academy okay so as I told you it should be the sender ID should be 11 characters or less so for me I'm putting MLA that's money literate or you can choose any name at all any name at all so I can say I can say literate that's my company name literate uh -huh. so purpose of your message to update to update students on new courses so here your message should be short and then pre prescribed otherwise they won't send you your um, your sender ID so it should be you it should be so or maybe if you are writing to a church to say you can say update the church members on certain things or if you are writing to a school you can say uh, if you are if you are a, a, um, a proprietor or a head teacher so you can say maybe um, to update students on their school fees uh -huh. so very short so, so after you have finished you click on submit 
sender id request has been submitted okay so it will be submitted on your email address it will take a while for them to submit it on your email address so we are going to look at how to make payment for your sms so you click on your three dots after clicking on your three dots you click on payments then you click on top up so when you click on top up so you can go through this meaning if you are signing um, if you are using 10 cds you get 322 sms i get to me 10 cds 322 sms 20 cds you get 675 sms and so on and so forth and so and so on and so forth so enter amount you want to buy or the sms you want to send to people so if it is 10 cds that means you'll be able to send 322 sms uh, message to 322 people so it has given me 322 people price per sms that's 0 0.0310 then discount code is not necessary after you are done you click on buy custom package you click on buy custom package so this is our sms purchase so if you are paying for 10 cities meaning you can send 300 you can send a message to 322 people then you click on next you click on next so if you are paying with a credit card or debit card you click here if you are paying with momo mtn uh, if you are paying with momo you click here if you also want to pay with bank you click here so for we we want to pay with mobile money so i select the option instant online top up you click on instant online top up then you click on next so this is our payment summary so you can go through this and then you click on finish So when you click on finish, they are redirecting me. Uh -huh. Then you click on mobile money. We are going to use mobile money for our payment. So you click on mobile money. So is it MTN or Vodafone that you want to pay from? So MTN or Vodafone. So you enter your number. You enter your number. If it is Vodafone 2 or Etel, you enter your number. If it is Vodafone, you enter your number. So if it is MTN, you enter your number. The number in which you want to make the payment from. So make sure you have at least money inside so that they can pick it and then give you your credit. Then you click on continue then if you want to buy or you want to pay then you click on pay so when you click on pay a code will be sent to you they just sent me the code but the issue is that i don't need the i don't need it now uh-huh so you enter the code and then they'll pick the 10 cds and then they'll credit you I get me I don't need uh, uh, this thing now so that is that so you enter they will send you a code on your MTN number or the number in which you want to pay from uh-huh then it will be credited it will be debited from your account or your mobile money account thank you for watching